So yesterday evening, I'm milling about my home, enjoying a hot cup of tea, when I get a text from a buddy. And this buddy says, hey, are your ears burning? Because someone's talking about you again. Now, being on YouTube for the time period that I've been on it and talking to a lot of people and debating a lot of people, there are some folks that do talk about me out there. And normally, I don't care because they are, to my knowledge, all from irrelevant channels. Which is fine. I'm, I'm not meaning that to throw shade. I mean they are irrelevant to me. I do not care what these individuals have to say. But every now and again someone will tell me that this is a particularly funny reference and I just can't help myself and I have to go look. And when I checked this one, I found something troubling. And that's why I decided to make this short little video to share and, of course, elucidate the reality of this troubling rumor. So let's look at this together and see what we think. It's from a YouTube channel you might know. We'll call them Monkey for Banana. And we'll go into mini mode and just bask in the galaxy-brained brilliance of this individual now. So the Monkey for Banana YouTube channel makes a lot of videos about me. And they make a lot of posts about me. And they talk about me a lot in open mics and things of that nature. Any opportunity they can to rake my name through the mud, they will happily do so. On the contrary, while I sometimes dunk on them, I don't make videos, I don't typically make community posts, and I tend to not bring them up unless they're brought up to me. But Monkey from the Monkey for Banana channel uh, is trying to stir the pot, I suppose, as he sometimes does, and so we end up with this community post. And uh, let's read it and, and enjoy it. This actually isn't the troubling bit. If anyone wants a good laugh, then check out how horribly the critics are failing by first suffering through Gutsy Gibbon's pathetic video on limestone found here. Then watch our presentation and discussion with an actual professional, Joseph Hubbard. We'll get to that in a little bit. On the same topic and see how laughable Erica's sad attempt at a refutation is. It's bad. Really bad. So this is, of course, hilarious. This entire community post right here really just exemplifies what Monkey for Bananas channel is like. It's needlessly hyperbolic, it's needlessly aggressive, and it uses way too many adjectives. And the story surrounding this particular post makes it extra funny because this limestone video after its release led to Monkey for Banana and one of his frequent co-mods emailing me and kindly asking me if I would be willing to debate David McQueen, a geology guy that they have on their channel occasionally, specifically on my limestone video. And they noted that David McQueen thought my limestone video was very good. This proposed professional of theirs thought the video was good. To make matters even funnier, the video that's linked right here with Hubbard in it has Hubbard saying that the video makes good critiques. So this idea that the video is in itself, in and of itself rather bad, is like not true according to all of the people involved in criticizing it. From Monkey for Banana himself, his co-mod, um, David McQueen and Hubbard, they've all said it's good. Uh, I mean, I've watched Erica's video on limestone. There's some good challenges in there. Uh, there's some really good information in there. There's some stuff which needs to be, uh, you know, fought over and debated over and discussed about great stuff. You know, I, I think that that kind of comparison of please be on my channel and debate one of my guys versus I hate you and you're worthless makes for an interesting dynamic because this is how Monkey for Banana is. His behavior is erratic. One day he's nice, the next day he's acting like this. And this is one of the main reasons why I won't go on his channel and support it. I don't feel the need to platform someone like this. And of course, there's the other itty bitty little issue of, I made a video several months ago saying I won't go on his channel until he does me the respect of answering my questions for his worldview in the same way that I've been devoting entire videos to the questions he has for mine. And he has not given me that respect. The entire issue was he'll say claim A, 
I'll say claim A doesn't work because of B, thing B, and then he will reassert A without addressing the critique, B. That's what the videos that have he's claiming are responding have been, and I know because I've watched them, just like I watched this video with Hubbard in it right now. Um, so between his, frankly, kind of unsettling behavior towards myself and everyone else who he will lambast in public and then privately email and ask them to come on his channel, for which of course I have all of the receipts, uh, to his just very dismissive and um, unbecoming attitude when it comes to actually trying to have a conversation or a real discussion, I'm not interested in Monkey for Bananas channel until he actually makes some changes. Um, and that's why I won't go on it. Because what spurred this video is a comment that appeared a bit downward, which was by one of our other friends, Redefining Monkey, right here, who says that's why she won't debate him. I would love to debate Joseph Hubbard. I offered to debate McQueen and McKay on Modern Day Debate, a neutral platform. Redefined Monkey knows why I won't go on Monkey for Bananas channel. They, they are aware, we have had this discussion. But all of these folks choose to believe that the reason I won't debate them is because like I'm scared or something of that nature. When I've debated people who, and I don't mean this as no offense to Joseph Hubbard, but are far more qualified, like Dr. Fuzz Rana. So it's not a fear thing. And I realized that maybe it's time that I made the effort instead of waiting for Joseph to reach out to me. So I have drummed up an email that I'm going to send to Joseph Hubbard and John McKay. And I'm also hoping to get a hold of McQueen, but his email doesn't appear to be public, so I might not be able to. But I want them to know that I'm willing to discuss with them on a neutral platform. I don't know if they know about Monkey for Bananas behavior, and I don't know if they care or even would care. That's none of my business. I don't really just have a dog in that race. I, It's not up to me. But I would like to discuss with them. So I've emailed them and asked them if they would want to go on the Modern Day Debate channel. I suspect that Monkey for Banana will try to put the kibosh on that, because Monkey for Banana is trying to put a monopoly on certain creationist debaters to keep them on his own channel so that he can grow his ministry. Uh, a ministry that appears to be, at least on its foundation, rooted in hyperbolic vitriol, which is funny and a bit ironic. Um, but I love debates. In fact, most people who are subscribed to me found me through one of my debates, be it on Modern Day Debate or some other venue. And that's because I like discussing so much. So I want this to kind of serve as a formal invitation to the creationists that hate my channel so much and call me mean names or, you know, diss me to others, even though, you know, other than like when I'm directly confronted, I tend not to be too mean. Um, this is an open invitation. I'm going to try to do twice monthly an, an open mic e style thing on my channel so you can come and like vent your beefs if you so desire. Anyways, I hope that one of these debates will materialize on a place like Modern Day Debate because I would love to discuss with John McKay or with Joseph Hubbard some of their ideas about limestone or the age of the earth or ooh, the juicy, juicy human evolution topic that no one seems to want to have with me, least of all our friend Logical, Plausible, Probable, or John Maddox, whom I've repeatedly asked to chat with me about it, but he seems to not be willing, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> what, what, what are you gonna do, you know? Um, but that being said, um, the ball is now kind of in their court. Let it be known that I've reached out and attempted to, to make contact here and have a debate materialize uh, because I want to have the conversation. I think it'd be really fun, um, particularly with, uh, with our friend Indiana Joe here. Um, and with that, I will go ahead and leave you. Um, monkey for banana, if you want to debate with me or have interaction with me, uh, be kinder to pretty much everyone consistently and answer my questions, and then you'll have it. That's not a tall order. Um, and I think that's going to be it.
So yes, I'll debate literally every, like any and everyone, so long as it is on a neutral platform. That's my stance on debates. Shocker. I figured as the credits roll, I would give you a taste of uh, some of the lovely folks that are hanging out in the comments here. Uh, Thomas Jane, this is a kind comment. Joe Hubbard has an encyclopedic mind, sharp as a tack. I think Joe would probably appreciate that. Joe Wilson says, I'd be extremely embarrassed if I was Erica right about now. It's amazing how she digs her heels in, even when shown what she believes is wrong by every empirical science, not to mention common sense. Indiana Joe is a gifted man with a brilliant mind. Praise God he's on our side, the side of truth. God bless you all, and thank you for posting the vids. Very informative and entertaining, too. LOL. That's very kind to Indiana Joe there, Joe Wilson. Um, and if you would like to discuss with me, um, on the empirical reasons why young earth creationism is indeed precluded by every aspect of every science, please do. You are welcome on my channel. We already saw Redefine Living. Steadfast and Easy says, I went, I looked, I sighed, then I left. Uh, and then our friend Standing says, it's 20 minutes of hardcore suffering, I know. You'll feel much better after breathing some fresh air with our Joseph Hubbard video demolishing her arguments. Yes, I would love to talk with Joseph about some of those arguments. Um, I'm planning a video. We'll see. Boah ha ha ha. You actually think I could take to the whole 20 minutes? You overestimate the sinewy constitution of my internal fortitude. That's a nice sentence. I will most certainly die for the testimony of Jesus Christ, but I ain't sitting through that woman's words. <laughs> Four and a half minutes was all I could take. This is, of course the bastion of the those who just thirst for uh, empirical truths, who um, do not sit through more than four and a half minutes of an opposing opinion. Really good stuff. I ain't sitting through that woman's words. <laughs> That's a very funny sentence as well. I do enjoy that. Meanwhile, I sat through uh, two and a half hours of Joseph Hubbard uh, giving his perspective today um, and took notes, which are just out of view, but they are right there. Hey, you should be proud of yourself, says uh, Monkey for Truth. Four minutes is more than 99% of the people who attempted to sit through that atrocity. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. <laughs> well, thanks, but I think I pulled a muscle doing it. Thanks, Steadfast and Easy. You're invited on my channel to come and discuss your opinions if you so desire. Shelly Geisbrecht says, I got about halfway through Gigi's video, but I found the combination of the aquarium footage and her cold sore too distracting. I don't remember much of, much of what she said. Um, that aquarium footage was footage of Bahama Banks. Uh, the limestone deposition area that I was discussing. But thank you for noticing my... Uh, my cold sore, which in actuality was actually a compulsive picking spot because I was finishing my thesis at the time. So don't confuse neuroticism with venereal diseases. <laughs> Monkey for Truth says, haha, best to go straight to Hubbard's video. She just repeats the same already debunked talking points over and over again anyways. We demolish her in the Hubbard presentation. You'll enjoy. Shelly says, To be fair, I've never watched any of the videos on her channel, so I thought I would at least watch one. You're right, it's so bad. She is all over the place with all the cartoon clips and shark footage. Joe Hubbard is da bomb. The cartoon clips and the shark footage are what I get the bread and butter of my channel from. You know, most people really enjoy the memes, uh, but it's okay if there's a boomer energy going on here. Standing for truth, lol, yup. It is really bad. Her videos aren't any better than that one either. The arguments she uses and the sloppiness of her videos, once again, just more evidence for genetic entropy. I find this very funny because Monkey for Truth has in the past complimented my editing abilities and um, put forward the idea that he doesn't like editing. Um, so that's also enjoyable. The, the, the classic bait and switch Monkey for Truth move. Uh, and then I guess he comments again, and I haven't seen this. Post in the comments at this point what you think this video is going to be. Let's enjoy. Ah, it's, uh, it's uh, not a geneticist. Genetic entropy is something that he mentions this a lot a in this book. This is a two minute and six second video 
of compilations of me saying I'm not a geneticist, something that I use to preface when I'm talking about an area that I have had no more formal training in than undergraduate courses, something I doubt Monkey for Truth has had. Knowing your limitations is a part of honest science, so I'm not surprised that Monkey for Truth does not like that attitude. None of these 14 dislikes, by the way, are me, because I don't care enough to interact um, outside of, of when, I guess, it is a vicious rumor. Like, I don't want to debate because I'm so uh, big baby scared. Very funny, though. I, I do like that. I like that he went out of his way to respond to Shelly again. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this bonus content. Uh, there should be a Bite Size Bus coming out later this afternoon, and I'll be on Dapper Dino's channel this evening. So take care of yourselves, my gentle and modern apes, and Indiana Joe, and John McKay, and Dave and the Queen. Please shoot me an email if you'd like to have a chat. I certainly would love to pick your brains. Bye-bye.